Lucky everyone, good day and welcome to another South African lawn video. As you just saw, I just verticutted my lawn. I actually wanted to scarify to remove some of the dead material, but I was scared that I was going to wear out my tiny little tines of my scarifying blade. So I used the verticutter instead um, to remove some of the uh, last canopy that's left. I must say, I may have scalped a little bit low. I'm guessing I was like on um, seven mils or so. And I must say, in comparison to Kukuyu, you get a much truer cut on Kentucky bluegrass, I think because the leaf blades are softer. So the mower doesn't actually run on top of all that grass. It actually kind of falls down onto the soil layer. So if your mower is set to eight or whatever mils, you're gonna get an eight mil mow. <laughs> Okay, but it's scalped quite badly and I've scarified so it exposed some soil. Let me show you what's going on here. Okay, right Owen, so you should be able to see with this camera angle right here, my verticutted lines going in that direction right there. And what this does is it just cuts every, I would say about 20 mils, whatever. It cuts, uh, it cuts vertically down into the soil, like cutting off if there were to be runners. Now this lawn doesn't have runners. Um, so on Kukuyu you would actually cut off the runner or pull it out um, and I also did on this top section of my lawn a verticutted in this direction and in this direction just because I didn't see so much material pulled out from there. Like I said I scalped a little bit low in some areas I don't know how I've never scalped this um, Kitaka bluegrass as severe so I will it's going to be interesting to see if this Come, comes back as quickly as uh, Kukuyu does. But I'm not too worried because for the most part of this lawn, there's still some, look, I've lost most all of my color, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back. Well, I hope. Just as a side note, the green is looking great. Almost filled in everywhere, only waiting for these last areas there. Another pro tip, guys, take a stone or a tent spike or a flag or anything and mark where your sprinklers are because you will most certainly damage them because you will forget where they are especially when spike rolling scarifying the tough stuff you know scalping okay yeah okay all right so we've got the same spike roller which is heavy And I have no clue how to get this there. Oh my Looking better than expected. Okay, let's just make sure that this thing doesn't look if this if this rolls down guys it was nice to to meet you and in a week's time or so there'll probably be a service there at the underling the church for me Okay, so very simply, um, you want to roll this thing as much as your body would physically allow you over your lawn, up and down and making millions of holes. It's actually, oof, nah, this is going to be a tough job. Oof, I know. Okay, spike rolling owns. So for those of you who don't know by now, the purpose of this thing is to poke holes into the soil to allow air, water, um, like oxygen, you know, fertilizer, all the good stuff to go down into those holes. And also, my last step in my renovation is a top dress. So it also allows the top dress medium to fall down into those holes. But it's quite a labor intensive job. So if you've got someone to help you, uh, Lacquer for you, I'm on my own. So yeah, you can, you can always hire one at Builders or buy one 
which is probably a good idea. They're quite expensive, but I mean, if you're going to do this two, three times a year, then it might be actually uh, valuable to you. Uh, or you can rent one at, uh, like I said, Builders, 450 Rand a day or somewhere in that range. Or you can just borrow one from your friend, which is double the weight and double the effort to, to, to work. Yeah. You know, you always think, yeah, bigger lawn, I need a bigger lawn. Until you do these type of things and then you realize my lawn is too big. I need a smaller lawn. That is no picnic in the park. Let me tell you, Owens, that is one big pull. Either this thing is the biggest load of rubbish or I'm just not strong enough. I don't think I'm strong enough for this. You're gonna need someone like, like Jomo or, um, with a bit of muscle, but guys, done. I must say, um, equipment, getting back to equipment. Like, if you don't have equipment, that could easily become your limitation. I'm not saying go out and buy everything, but equipment can easily become the limitation to why you don't do this. Because even though I'm sweating like a dog now, and I'm up, literally I'm sat, sat, sat. Um, this only took 25 minutes of really hard work. If you had to do this with a garden fork, Owens, you'd be in for a bumpy ride for uh, five, six hours. So still easy, I still prefer this. Look at these olds, let me stop talking about me. Beautiful, beautiful. Check there Owens, well you can't really see it from this angle. I pulled up a bit of uh, uh, chunks there close to the green, just because it's wetter, because that area gets a little bit more water. And secondly, I turned a lot to go around the, the edges of the green like that. Um, so I pulled up a bit, but I'm not too worried. With the sand in the lawn mower, that'll push down easily. Okay, now also I've seen that you can rent core aerators. Something that we never saw, Owens. Well, not I didn't see, you know. Uh, but you can rent core aerators, however, a little bit expensive. Between a thousand and a thousand five hundred rand per day to rent a core aerator. But if you've got a big area, it might be worth it for you, you know. Get a core aeration. Obviously, core aeration is much better. Just pulls a plug from the soil, um, reduces compaction quite a bit more than spike rolling. I'm sure this helps, but not as effective as core aerating. So I obviously would have liked to do that. However, uh, a little bit expensive for this area, and I don't even know if I can get that thing up my stairs. Well, I can get even anything up that stairs. I've proven now. So yeah, spike rolling is better. Who wants to call you right when you can spike roll? Whew, Owen, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Spike rolling done. Scalping, scarifying, uh, the preparation for the sand done. And let me tell you one thing, after this is sand, I'm gonna to top dress here. Uh, but let me tell you one thing, guys. This is where a good lawn starts, with the hard work. The hard work, if, you, if you're willing to put some time in here um, aerating your lawn, uh, taking the dead stuff from your lawn or creating space for air to go down. This is where the healthy lawn starts. I promise you I've done this plenty times. Uh, I haven't scalped as bad yet, but I mean, I've done this process plenty times and I always, always end up with good results. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, after this one uh, comes the sand on this lawn. 
um, and then hopefully a great lawn after that. So if you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There'll be plenty more videos to follow. And I'm gonna have a lie down now before I go to work because I thought now I'll be fresh today, but I'm sweaty and tired. Cheers. Yeah. Good Lord, here we go.